How much was the cost of a record then in 1972? <laughs> 25p. Was it? <laughs> so what are we going for? Joint answer? What should we say? We'll split the difference. 45p. 60. 60, 60p. Then. 60 You'd have paid 60p for one yeah. of these, not even have paid 45. What do you two reckon over there? I think two quid. Mm. Two quid? Easily taken, these northerners. Here's the answer. And sells for the incredibly low price of one pound. Available at Woolworth, Cowan, <laughs> Boots, Timothy White's, Lewis's, Dumfries Max, and all major department and hardware stores. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. One pound. <laughs> one pound. No points. Commercial break for you. <laughs> Lindsay and Sir Cyril. Tennis champions eat at Bernie Inns. They like the first-class service. Uh, right, let's go. But what everyone likes at Bernie Inns are the tender Bernie steaks. There's a place for you at your Bernie Inn. Why not join the Bernie set? You find a tennis racket on your table. <laughs> um, so we want to know again how much for a complete meal. Well, committee's had a meeting. Hey, oh. <laughs> we, th we think a pound or a guinea. Yeah, we think a pound. I, I, a pound. A pound. Okay, we'll come to the answer in just two ticks. But what about the most popular menu? Most popular meal? Any ideas? What most people used to order Steak in '72? Steak and chips. Steak and, and chips. chips. Yeah. What they start with? Prawn cocktail. Prawn cocktail. Yeah. What, what was dessert? Pavlova. No, not, not no, pa no. Black Forest Gatto. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all washed down with Matthias Rosé. <laughs> Let's see if they're right. Was it round about a pound? Hey! hey. 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 <laughs> it was indeed. Round about a pound. Now, it's self-indulgence time. Once again, looking through the archives, spotted this. Everyone say, ah. Oh, no. You probably like New Andrex because it's beautifully soft and very strong. But there's another reason for liking New Andrex. There's much more of it. In fact, it gives you more paper on every roll than almost any other tissue. New Andrex. It goes a long, long way. Look at that. How did that puppy reach up that tree? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's find out what the scores are doing. I don't know why we bother, but who's in the lead? Noddy and Mary have got three. Lindsay and Sir Cyril, it's a landslide at four. <laughs> well, in 1972, most of the major newspapers had the historic photograph of American President Richard Nixon shaking hands with Chairman Mao. And inside there was a picture of Chairman Mao, quickly counting, see if he's still got all his fingers. <laughs> but who won what in 1972? Mary, this lady, Belinda Green, won something. What do you reckon? She's beautiful. She must have won a beauty contest. Uh, maybe Miss World? You're quite right. She was Miss World in 1972. <laughs> Noddy! Yes? Noddy and big years <laughs> of 72. What's all that about, then? There we've got... Do you know the car? Can you recognise it? It's some sort of Fiat. It is. It's a Fiat 127, and it won something. Well, he probably won the best car of something. The best European design of 72. That's good enough. It was European Car of the Year in right. 1972. Oh. <laughs> Lindsay? <Yeah>. Lindsay? <laughs> do, do you know who that is? Um, I, I met him, actually, when I did a Tommy Cooper show, just like that. He's doing just like... Um, Ali Bongo? Yeah, can you think what Ali Bongo was winning? Well, he was um, Magician of the Year. Yeah, nearly. An international yeah. musician. Yeah, oh, well, I'll give you that. It was the, the Masculine air. Magic Circle Award for the... Masculine? Uh, yeah. Masculine. Oh, Masculine. I think that's how you pronounce <laughs> it. <laughs> Outstanding contribution to magic in the year. We won't dwell on this. We'll move on. So, Cyril, <laughs> here's, here's yours. The North. The North region. Well, something that I'm very, very good at myself. I think... 
they were champion dancers on Come Dancing. Yes, that year. the North Region won Come Dancing. <laughs> yes. I was in middle, but not both. But so, <laughs> what's that done to the scores? Apart from embarrassing them, of course. Aha! Uh -huh. Noddy and Mary have got five. But they're going from strength to strength. Lindsay and Sir Cyril have got six. <laughs> You've never had a working majority that big before, have you? Oh, <laughs> I've never had a working majority. <laughs> Listen to this. Here's the sound from 72. <laughs> have you any idea what that was? You can sort of fight it out amongst yourselves with this. We, we think some sort of a game. game. Yeah, it was yeah. one of those computer game, game thing. What tennis, about tennis game. game. Tennis game. It was. It was to plug it into the back of your TV. Didn't yeah, you? that's it. It was considered revolutionary in those days, and this is uh, this is what it looked like. Little thing used to move up and down. There we go. Oh, yeah. I, oh. I had one of them. I had one of them. That's a. And you about, could double the speed. Yeah, that's about as sophisticated <laughs> as, it, as it got. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Right, points to anyone who can tell me who won the Wimbledon ladies' title in 72. Yeah, come on. Billie Jean King. It was Billie Jean yeah. King. Well done. Nice one. Yeah. Beating. Men's, men's title. Gone. Men's yeah. title. <laughs> yes? Stan Smith. Oh, she's good. She's <laughs> got him Stan Smith. Sort of in question of sport. And here is another fascinating fact. An invention, excuse me a moment, from 1972. Excuse me. <laughs> now this, do you mind? Mick Hucknall? <laughs> Mick Hucknall. <laughs> any more? Silla Black, Mick Hucknall, any more? No, this was a serious invention in 72, and the idea was that you could keep your curlers on underneath and whatever, and just uh, nip out, you know, see the milkman or whatever, and you'd look fine like this. It's, it's all very well you laughing, Noddy, <laughs> but we know that you bought one. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, it's hard fact or is it porky pies? It's true or false? <laughs> okay, Noddy and Mary, here's your headline. A millionaire Texan owner of a new Rolls Royce admitted he doesn't wear his glasses whilst driving. I've had it fitted with a prescription windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that true or did I make that up in the bath? Well, these Yanks, the crackers, aren't they? It's got to be true, that. Yeah, it's got to be. It is true. It is actually true. He had the whole thing done. <laughs> Lindsay and Sir Cyril, your 1970 news. Viking Motors of Burton on Trent have applied for permission to run half day trips to the newly opened Spaghetti Junction. They said. People who don't drive would like the opportunity to see a very interesting addition to the urban scene. <laughs> Can you believe that all these years on? What do you think? We think it's true. You think it's true? It was true, they did. People used to get in a coach and go and see Spaghetti Junction. They still do. They still do. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> Here's yours. True or false? In an attempt to cut import costs, British boffins have started experiments to extract rubber from indigenous trees. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, th I think it was the Forestry Commission joined the space race and tried to get an oak tree into orbit there. They look as if they're trying to blow it up, actually. Yeah. What do you think? No way, no. No? No way. OK, it was false. In fact, they were trying to eradicate Dutch elm disease. It was a big fight and they lost. <laughs> Lindsay and Cecil? In April 1972, <laughs> Doncaster hosted the first World Nudist Games. Yeah, the look on the dog's face is the best. Yeah, he's, he's saying sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a nice boy. <laughs> that dog's going, he's not been to the vets. <laughs> if you think that's funny, you should have seen the baton change. There was a <laughs> bloody fight broke out. <laughs> OK, are we into uh, World Nudist Games or not? Yes. Yes, yes. we think it's true. <laughs> no, it's false. Oh. <laughs> he, was was he was a streaker. He was a streaker. Final go, Noddy and Mary. 
In August, an American collector bought Shakespeare's birthplace and shipped it to Arizona. <laughs> Caravans were getting bigger in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Ooh, it's We're a thinking tricky. about it. It's a tricky yeah. one. Well, there's a lot to play for. You're, what do you reckon? You're almost ankle reckon, and neck on this. A lot of stuff that I don't think we do. You need Mary to... reckons now, I reckon yes. So oh. what do we do? Flip a coin. Oh, I love. Chicken. <laughs> we'll go for now, then. You're going for now. So what's no mean? It's true or false? <laughs> false. <laughs> false. False. You think it's false? Yeah, it was false. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay and Sir Cyril, your last chance. Your last chance to get a vote. Here we go. An organ enthusiast restored a fairground organ to its former glory, then plonked it in the middle of the Yorkshire Moors. <laughs> oh, Sir Cyril, that produced a, a stern look. Well, I certainly know it's possible to restore organs to their former glory. <laughs> but not though, at, though at my age, I'm past it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> But uh, I just think it's a search it's theme. It's the Yorkshire Moors bit that worries me. No, no. It's the Yorkshire Moors bit that worries me. Yeah. I don't like the idea of plonking it somewhere. No. No, we'll say false. <laughs> it was true. Oh. Can you believe it was true? And what, as if we care, do we have by way of a final score? <laughs> Ten to Noddy and Mary. A lowly seven hey. to Lindsay. Whoa. What was Mary doing on that last shot? Can we get that back up again? <laughs> Can we get that shot of Mary up again there? Yes, please, let's look again. No. Let's look again. Mary, what were you doing? Constipated. Good heavens! <laughs> <laughs> I think we need an explanation, please, Mary. Yes, Mary, please. I was suffering from constipation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was long jumping. <laughs> Yes, quite. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have a result, we have victory, and thanks once again. Ladies and gentlemen, Noddy Holder, Mary Peters, Lindsay Paul, and Sir Cyril Smith. Thank you. And we leave you. We leave you with news of 1972 that Walter Cornelius of Peterborough pushed a double-decker bus half a mile in 15 minutes 17 seconds using only his head. As a protest at not having a clean handkerchief to go to school with, 14-year-old Paul Clarkson sat with his little finger pushed up his left nostril for exactly 12 hours. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and if 1972 was the year you were going to get married in, this was the gift, the ultimate gift for the bride. Every bride's lovely coming home outfit, boxed, complete and delivered to her door. Ideal wedding present in tangerine, gold, avocado or blue. <laughs> Includes dustpan and brush, sink drainer, bowl, bucket, waste bin, squeezy mop and matching sweeper. Fifteen pounds the complete set, or five pounds without sweeper. <laughs> and in 1972... It was a sad year. <laughs> it was a sad year. Well, how about this to finish off a sad year? In 1972, a woman got six months for throwing ink at Edward Heath. I mean, that's a bit stiff for just wasting ink, isn't it? <laughs> Noddy, this is one of your musical favourites. All right. From the telly years. Good night.